Hi folks, Piers Redfield here with another video for you. This one's a little different. I have been reading and reading and reading lately and I kind of wanted to get you guys' opinion on this one because pretty much what you see is what you get there on the screen. What's next? Resident Evil 5 remake, Code Veronica remake. We all know Resident Evil 9 is coming, but apparently there's two more coming. And I'm kind of curious what those two could be. Maybe a Rev 3 with Piers? Maybe, who knows? But again, there's five. But I know for a fact, well, I would say a fact, but we all know it's going to be one of these, if not both. But if you really look at it, it's a win-win for me. Because you got Chris Redfield and Cole Veronica. You got Chris Redfield in um, Resident Evil 5. And you got Chris Redfield in Resident Evil 9. So a win-win for me because you already know Pierce is going to show up in one of them anyway. I'm going to make it happen. But... In my personal opinion, this is what I think should happen. I think there should be a Code Veronica first, because again, that ties into five. You can't have five and then Code Veronica. It kind of defeats the purpose. And then Resident Evil 9 can come along as it should see, I mean, as it should be. I do hope it is Chris and Jill. I do hope it is, but again, time will tell on that one. But in my personal opinion, I do think Code Veronica should come first. And then later down the line, Resident Evil 5. And I do hope they, um, as far as Resident Evil 5 goes as well, I do hope they improve the co-op and, and not make Sheva so, I hate to use the word, stupid. Because, I mean, let's face it, if you played Resident Evil 5 by yourself, yeah, that bot is just a, that, a bot. And honestly, I would be kind of cool, honestly, if they could put, like, a maybe a... Um we're looking for a co-op in Code Veronica that would be really cool too but again that's just my opinion but yeah I've been seeing a lot of this about you know what's next what's next and I want to give my take on it and again comments are open whether you agree with me or not I want to know it so again what's next my personal opinion I say it again Resident Evil Code Veronica should be first then Resident Evil 5 and then in between that Resident Evil 9 of course and apparently they're supposed to end certain people's character arcs i guess i don't know if it's a kill off or not but i really hope that they don't if they're going to send a character off they should send them off properly but again another thing about resident evil 9 i'm going to throw it out there to you folks is if you take six for example what happens at the end of six of ada's campaign think about this for a second she gets a mysterious phone call well i've got a job for you Oh, my, you know, my, uh, my calendar just opened up. But if you really think about that, that's the perfect opening for to bring peers back into nine. Because we all know that at the end of eight, what was happening? BSA was getting dirty. You know, they are bringing BOWs. So who's to say that end of six, they went and got peers and basically, in lack of a word, brainwashed him into being a BOW. And maybe some memory loss but once chris gets to the bsa headquarters he sees peers and vice versa and those memories start coming back and chris saves him that would be a great resident evil 9 and in that way peers could take over the bs you know take over the helm while chris retires if that's what they're going to do with him that's my opinion i'd like to know yours now as far as the bottom one what is this alternate timeline now a lot of people have asked me what's this all about so i had an idea to basically incorporate peers into five four etc there had to be an alternate timeline or for him to do it so it's the same thing with chris and sheva at the end of or excuse me at the beginning of five they never did five because they went into the door and they got sucked into this alternate timeline which is now resident evil 4 which is where they're at now currently and pierce at the end of his four he got sucked into an alternate timeline as well if you watched the, the movie that i made you would have seen that where i basically made it very clear what happened at the end of resident evil 4 remake campaign and now they're now he's in five and honestly, I haven't done it yet, but how he got into four, I'm going to um, I'm going to touch more on that later. But all this is basically alternate timeline. It all ends up to a remake, I guess you could say, not a remake, 
another game with the dynamic duo, which is Piers Nivens and Chris Redfield. However, it's going to be in Village. That is the ultimate timeline for me. That's where it all ends, folks. Also, too, I have another alternate timeline of Resident Evil 2 Remake with Piers in it. But again, that's kind of like a, a sideline project. I'm just really trying to make this as um, great as I possibly can. And I'm really trying to get this together because, again, now when Chris finishes his four and Sheva finishes her four and Piers finishes his five, they all meet back. Well, Chris and Piers get swept into the timeline where he is with Chris again. Again, it's just my take on that. I want to know you guys' thoughts. Do, are you liking the alternate timelines? Are you not? Do you think I should do something better? This is basic open dialogue for everything that I just mentioned. I would love to know your comments on this. Just reach out to me. You know, private message. If you want to leave a comment, by all means, because I would love to know what you guys think. But this is my thoughts on what, what's next as far as remakes go and basically explaining to you how I came up with the alternate timelines which is basically the, I guess you could say, what my channel's all about right now. It's gonna change course down the line, but that's what it's evolved into, because again, I wanna say this before I go. How I came up with this channel, I've had this channel since 2007, but it never really had a name. It was just me, you know, making random videos and such. And then after six, I kept trying my best to find anything, anything on peers anything at all and I never could find anything well I'd find some things here or there you know tributes and such but I never found anything that I could actually relate to or something like I said oh cool I'm gonna play that so I decided to change that so a year ago I think it was February 12th I said you know what I'm gonna start on my channel so that's where the Piers Redfield channel became to be born and at first it was just you know just random mercenary videos and then as time has gone on and I've learned more and more how to edit and such, I've decided to go ahead and make it a full-fledged Piers Redfield channel and devote it primarily to making content for you guys out there who want Piers content and Chris content, but you can't find anything because again, there's not a lot out there as far as what I'm doing. So again, your thoughts are always welcome. A sub is always welcome. I am knocking on 500. Once I hit 500, it does, it does open up doors here on YouTube for me that I can actually you know, bring certain things in for you folks. But again, it's up to you, not me. So subscribe if you'd like. Leave a comment if you'd like. Like the video, obviously, so I know that you actually liked it. Because again, I've never done anything like this before, this type of video. But I wanted to do it for you folks to let you know where I'm sitting at and where the channel is heading. But again, we're so close to 500, please hit that sub button because I want to hit 500 so badly because it's going to open up so many doors for you folks. Not me, but for you folks as well. Well, more for you than me. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. And if you um, have not yet, again, like the video, subscribe. But at any rate, as always, much love to each and every one of you that watch this video and my channel for that matter and stuck around with me all this time. And just have a great weekend and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.